napkins because I just spill water everywhere. <laughs> Sub world, Plant Savvy is here with another planting video and I have a unique take on repotting one's plant that is a little bit less hassle and uh, another little trick that I love to see what results I get and uh, we're going to be doing a repotting of the Haworthia clipping that I have here. As you can see, it has grown I really didn't expect it to grow these roots. It's been in this water. Of course, I replace and, you know, refresh the water on a two week or so basis, but it really has sprouted these long roots into the water that I was propagating it in. So I'm gonna take this baby and put it into this here uh, terracotta pot. Got a little, got a little fixer upper there. <laughs> I kind of broke it. You know, I'm heavy handed, what can I say? But we got that repaired and we are going to get this small repotting going. So let's get into it. Now I have this here, perlite and um, natural soil mix that we're gonna be using. Alrighty, it's an organic soil and it's gonna be pretty quick, simple and easy. So I'm gonna put that right here so I don't make too much of a mess and get that in there. You have, of course, your drainage hole. We're just gonna scoop this in there, pat it down, want it nice, and I'm just gonna use my hand. Small pot, why not? <laughs> All right, so we got that going. Wanna give it plenty of room so that these new root system that has uh, started to sprout has plenty of room to keep going down further into this new soil. All righty, gonna take it on out of there. Look at those roots, baby. <laughs> and gonna dig a little, a little hole there, you know, and put it right smack dab in the middle and refill the pot with the perlite. That way it has plenty of ability to drain. I'm gonna keep the soil nice and airy. So get oxygen with the water and the sunlight. Photosynthesis, you get new plants growing like an orchestra growing into the rhythm, baby. All right, so we got that, got that. And this here clipping, I told ya, yeah, it is from this beautiful succulent, Haworthia. Hi, Robin, Larry, and Robin. Thank you all so much. It's been growing phenomenally, and I've been doing some pruning to keep the plant strong and resilient. And there we go. This here is the repotting of the clipping from the Haworthia plant. Perfect size. They are a slow growing type of succulent. So it, it, it really took, I would say about three months for this here rooting system to show itself to me. Um, and I was shocked. I really did not expect it. There was times that I thought that I was just gonna have to throw it out because it wasn't producing anything. And I just kept going with it. Sometimes you have to really just wait it out and stick with your plan and see what it does while Maintaining faith. Napkins, because I just spill water everywhere. But this here terracotta pot, as you can see, the terracotta pots, they absorb the water. So when you have your plants in the terracotta pots, you'll find that you would have to water them a little bit more than if you had one in ceramic. And it has that drainage hole that has just drained all over the desk that I'm recording on. Ow, cheers to that. Woo. Okay, now this second method that I'm gonna use with repotting is one that is very cool, it's unique and different. Notice how I have taken most of the soil from the top here. It was about to this line with the soil on this here devil's backbone. I've taken all, I've scooped it 
you know, I've taken it all out of there and I am going to replace that with new rich soil. What I'm going to do here is just replace the soil that I've removed with new soil that will ultimately drain down and get to the roots, giving it new nutrients that it must have. Because I've had this here, devil's backbone in this pot for about a year um, without repotting it. So it's doing pretty good. As you can see, it got a little pink on the leaves and I want to keep it in this here pot without doing too much to disturb it. I don't like when my plants are dying and going through that transitional phase. It was hard enough for me to prune them back. I'm still a beginner learning a lot and sharing it as I get it with my awesome viewers and I thank you guys so much. So let's see what we can do with this here halfway repotting, if you will. Put this right here so I don't make too much of a mess. But that's the fun part in repotting. You get to make a mess and that's your excuse. I was repotting, of course, I'm gonna make a mess, you know? It's a part of the process, baby. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got that new soil. Alrighty, and we're going to just pack that down. And we're gonna water the plant with the new soil on top and it will drain down and get to the roots, giving it new nutrients that it is needing, which is awesome. Notice how I've taken the new soil that has again, the perlite organic mix. It has bark in it um, that'll allow more free flow to the water. Um, and notice how I took the soil back to the line that I carved out the old soil with. I replaced it with new, right to the line, the same amount that I took out, I replaced with new rich soil. And I'm going to water this here beautiful devil's backbone so that these nutrients from the new soil can get down to those roots and let this baby start flourishing in the way that it should. So, hope you all enjoyed my plant parents and of course stay tuned i do shorts every now and then like subscribe if you will sir plant savvy on instagram and of course stay tuned and most definitely keep planning mm -hmm.